So will we see more large moves like the one today in the stock market in the coming days and weeks? Let's bring in Michael Kantrowitz of Cornerstone Macro. Michael, good to have you with us. Thanks for having me back. Uh, where are we in this sell-off? Do you have a sense? What does your spidey sense tell you? I think we're in different parts of the sell-off, depending on which uh, asset class you're looking at. You know, bond, bond yields have been falling for most of this year. Equity markets have only been falling for a couple of weeks now. The credit markets have only really begun to show widening of credit spreads in the last, really, the last few days. And so it really depends on which market you're looking at. And I think you need to look at all of them to get a, a full understanding of how deep and how long this is going to last. One of the things that stood out today was the drop in the 10-year bond or note to below one and a quarter percent. Has never been that low before. Whether that is the market telling the Fed to cut interest rates or not, I don't know. I don't know, and neither do you know what the Fed is going to do. But I'd like to get you to talk a little bit about whether falling or lower interest rates on the part of the Fed would do anything when high interest rates aren't the problem at all. That, that's a great point, uh, because uh, solutions only come when they're solving a problem, and high interest rates, as you said, is not a problem. No. Uh, it was a problem in 2018, and we had a sell-off, and then Powell pivoted, and the market rebounded right away. Uh, and so we don't have that set up today. The good news is, I think, that we've already essentially ha have seen rates fall, uh, and we're seeing that in the mortgage market. You're seeing uh, lower mortgage rates. You're seeing refi activity, for example, at an eight-year high. You're seeing the MBA Purchase Index, the NHB Builder Confidence Index. So while interest rates are falling, we're already seeing signs in the U.S. economy that there are, uh, we're seeing some benefit from that uh, so far. And we want to continue seeing that to believe that the U.S. economy is holding up. There's two series that I'm watching really closely, and one is uh, one are uh, the NHB index. Again, that's housing confidence. The second one is unemployment claims. Uh, you don't go into recession unless, unless both of those series are deteriorating. It's never happened. And so far, those are both holding up quite well. Talk to me a little bit about uh, credit spreads and the high-yield market. That has been wh – what do you think about that right now? There are a lot of people who go in there because they like those juicy yields. They're chasing the number. Uh, is it a dangerous place to be? Well, there's a lot of pol polarization in the high yield market. Energy spreads really never came in much over the last few mm -hmm. years. And so that's one of the reasons high yields uh, only recently started uh, blowing out. Uh, but I don't think high, the high yield market is a great representation of either the U.S. economy or the broader stock market. We tend to focus more on investment grade credit and looking at Moody's BAA spreads. They're only at about 220 basis points as of today. And that's not that high of yeah. a level. Let's talk a little bit about corporate profits. As you, I'm sure you know, Goldman Sachs said today may be, this may be a year where there is no corporate profit growth. We're going to start seeing some of the effects show up in the numbers that are reported in April. 30 seconds, what do you think on corporate sure. profits? We were expecting about 5 to 6 percent profit growth at the beginning of the year, uh, and that was off the view that lower rates would start to help uh, the global economy led by the U.S. And so certainly we're going to see a hit uh, to profits because of the virus mm -hmm. fears. But we don't think it's going to remove the hit. We think it's going to delay the hit. On, and on the other side of this, assuming that back. housing and claims hold up, we're going to have a nice uh, V-shaped recovery.